Hi guys, it's Christmas City or Homestead. So, I was going to make this part of dinner and make it then, but I got kind of bored and I missed you guys, so I decided that I'd make a separate video on it. My favorite thing at the Chinese buffets are um, Crab Rangoon. I love it. And a quick story, um, my son and his friend in high school, they had, we went to the wall Unfortunately, it's not in business anymore. I love that place. Um, they had a Crab Rangoon um, taste, you know, contest. And his buddy actually got the roof of his mouth burnt because they were just eating them so quickly. And the guy's looking at us like, I can't keep these up fast enough. <laughs> but anyway, um, my son won. And I, to this day, love, love, love these things. So, um, today's recipe actually comes from a girl that sh her channel is called Spoon Fork Heart. Never seen her until today, and I watched a few of her videos, and I like what she's got, so I subscribed to her. Um, but, um, even though we're not going to do Asian Week, you know, again, for a very long time, um, I still would like to learn some recipes and maybe throw them in here and there, and so that would be good. So today we are going to do another recipe I've never done, and I've never tasted it before either, so we'll see. Tomorrow we're going to do three of our favorite things off the Chinese buffet, and we're going to cook those together. And my breakfast tomorrow, um, I was going to do a request, but I need to use up something, so we're going to use that up, and then we'll do her request next week. So, let's bring it down here and show you what we're going to do. So, the first thing is an 8-ounce block of um, cream cheese. Then, we need, it says, a quarter teaspoon of salt. I'm just going to eyeball it. And it says to use white pepper. I don't have any. I did just actually order some off the of Amazon. Boy, is that stuff expensive. <laughs> but, I've seen a lot of the Asian recipes actually call for it. So, I thought, you know what, let's go ahead and invest in it. We need a teaspoon of sugar. Tom put these back on here, and now they're all messed up. <laughs> and I noticed in a few of her recipes that there's sugar in it, and I'm not sure if that's what they normally do or whatever. And I know she used um, garlic powder, but it doesn't say how much. So I'm going to do maybe a quarter of a teaspoon of that, too. All right. And she explained why things, why she was doing them as she was going along. And I like when people do that. I do have my oil starting to heat up over here, too, by the way. And then we're just going to kind of get those spices in there first. Usually try to make, you know, your room temperature of your cream cheese. I could understand why they would say to use the white pepper because you can see the black in there. But I don't have it and that's just how it is. <laughs> I have so many spices, you know, you just, I don't know. All right, so it'll mix together a little bit better in a little bit. So then we need a cup of, I'm going to use the fake crab. And whatever's left, believe me, it won't go to waste in this house because I love it. Tom, not so much. Now it's supposed to be in really small pieces, so I'm going to chop it this way first. And by the way, next week we are doing the special request, and we're doing soup week. And so let's see how that turns out. I picked a bunch of different soups, and I was telling Tom what they were today. And one was a cabbage soup, which I've never tried either. And he's like, no. <laughs> so that went off, and I made a new one up so I'm gonna try to do all new 
soups that I haven't done before. But I might throw in one of my favorites at the end of the week. So it'll be all new soups that I've never done. We want this to be pretty small. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, we need just a little bit more. All right, so I got that cup mixed. Now you're gonna mix all that in with the cream cheese. Make sure everything's coated really, really well in the cream cheese. I love cream cheese, I just hate working with it. Because unless you melt it, sometimes it's just, I don't know, crazy to work with. That's something else that actually, it's been the last few years that I've actually gotten a like for it. Sour cream too, actually. You know, there's a lot of things that I've never really liked, and over the course of the last few years, I've actually started to like them again. There's some things that I'll eat that I really don't like, and no matter what I do, I just can't get the, I can't get the taste for them. All right. So now we have that. So then the next thing is, she says to use green onions. I didn't look at my recipe for tonight. I hope I don't need much because I only have one left. I pretty much went through them all this week. Alrighty. And of course, what she did is she cut the white part first. Then she cut that in half. I'm doing that with a small knife so I don't cut myself. <laughs> then she took her knife and cut it real thin. And she said the reason for doing these at the end is because you don't want them all smushed. I never thought of that. So let's put those in there. And then we're going to do the green part the same way. So I'm going to cut this end off because, you know, after a few days they get kind of weird. So I would definitely have to order some more because I know that a couple of my recipes I think I picked for next week have the green onions in them. I am growing them, but they haven't started to come up. There's a few things that didn't come up from seed yet. So, hopefully they will. And then let's get that mixed in with that cream cheese. And I watched another girl that she did hers with a scoop. Um... And I think I'm going to do it the way that I seen the other girl do it. Alrighty. Look at that. Pretty, huh? Now I have my wonton wrappers. And I'm going to turn my heat up just a little bit on there. Now I do have the water, but she showed me, not just me, but everybody, a way that you probably don't have to use the water and a piece of onion on there. And um, let's see how it works. I've never 
folded them the way that she showed, so I'm going to try it. So you're going to do about a teaspoon of the filling. And I just tore that one. So that may not work. And what she did is... Do you remember those things that we used to do as kids that you do, like it goes back and forth? You fold it like that. I tore that one so it's probably not going to turn out very good, but we'll try another one. Maybe not so much filling. Just a little bit more. Alright. And she said, make sure it gets in the middle. And then you bring it up like you would that toy that we made with paper. By golly, it does stick together. Look at that. So it's like that thing for those of us that are older that, you know, you fold the paper and you go like this and you count and do whatever. Yeah. So let's try one more like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and make up all of these because I found out that you can, in fact, freeze them. You can freeze them before you cook them or after you cook them. All right, let's see how the oil's doing. Probably needs to be just a little bit hotter. So let me make up some of these, and then we'll be back to fry them up. All right, so I have six made up. Let's put those in the... The grease. I guess I had seven. But you can tell that the grease is um, ready now because it's actually boiling as soon, or you know, frying as soon as it hits. I did make the one up. We'll let it cool down a little bit before I heat it. I could probably add a little bit more grease, but she didn't have much either, so... I'm pretty excited about this, actually. You guys ever get those phone calls scam likely? Ugh, I hate that one, especially when I'm recording. <laughs> so excited. Very, very excited. Look at it. None of them are going to be perfect, you know, but I never claim to be a wonton maker. Ooh, make some oil out of that one. But I haven't had to use my water yet. Which is pretty cool, because who likes to slobber in the water all over it? There we go. All right. Let's see if this one's too hot yet to try. Let's try. Let's tear it in half first. Look at that. I don't usually eat the outsides of it, just that right around the end center. Mm. Other than it's really hot still. <laughs> mm. That's really good. Alright. So I still have a bunch left. Let me get them done up. And then I'll be back. Alright, so I got the rest of them fried up. <laughs> and you know I have to try another one, right?
<laughs> I'm gonna have to hide these. <laughs> mm. Great recipe, easy. I still have a few left, but you can freeze those. Um. Mm. Really, really good. And then we'll have some for tonight for dinner with some sweet and sour sauce. Mmm. This week wasn't so bad. Let me know what, below what you think, how this week went. So I will see you tonight at supper. Be a blessing. Be blessed.